Hello, and welcome to the Medical Assessment Asthma Patient Skill Station. Here we will evaluate your ability to interview a patient and assess and treat them accordingly. I want you to voice all interventions. You will have two EMT partners to assist you as needed. I want you to know that I may have to clarify some assessments as they arise. You may take this time to review the equipment before you now. Okay. Jansen, you are responding to a private residence for a 20-year-old female who is experiencing an asthma attack. Your patient is just as you find her. Do you have any questions before we begin? No questions at this time. Uh, BSI, is my scene safe? Your scene is safe. The nature of illness is we were called here for a possible asthma attack. Is this my only patient? This is your only patient. I'm going to go ahead and start an additional ALS resource at this time, and I don't see any need to be taking spinal precautions. Hi, how are you doing? My name is Jansen. Um, what prompted this call today? Uh, my asthma is really bad right now. So my general impression of the patient is that it's a 20-something year old female uh, who's having some trouble breathing and is complaining of a possible asthma attack. Her mentation seems fine and the chief complaint is the possible asthma attack. Uh, for her airway, she seems to be having some trouble breathing, so I'm gonna go ahead and take some lung sounds and uh, check her respiratory rate. Deep breath in. Deep breath in. Deep breath in. Deep breath in. You hear wheezing in the bases on auscultation. Wheezing in the bases on auscultation. And what was your respiratory rate? Respiratory rate is 28 per minute. Okay. So at this time, I'm going to go ahead and administer oxygen at 4 liters per minute via nasal cannula. I'm going to check her pulse and feel her skin. Her pulse is 110 per minute and her skin is pale, warm and dry. And then I'm going to make the decision to transport at this time. Uh, so what was happening leading up to this? I was doing yard work. Yard work. And um, does anything make it better or worse? No. Uh, have you ever experienced something like this before? I have had asthma attacks in the past. And on a scale of one to 10, uh, how does this compare to asthma attacks? Like an eight. Um, and has it been getting better or worse over time? No, it's the same. Uh, and then are you allergic to anything? Uh, just penicillin. Uh, are you on any medication? Uh, my albuterol inhaler. And then do you have any past pertinent medical history? No. And what was the last thing you ate? Uh, breakfast. And then, um, can you describe the events leading up to this? Just, just doing yard work in the back, yeah. So for my secondary assessment, I'm worried about her respiratory system, so I'm gonna be uh, checking on that. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take some vitals. Okay, uh, so my field impression is that she's having an asthma attack. So for my intervention, I'm gonna assist, I'm gonna verbalize assisting with her albuterol inhaler. Do that. And then I'm gonna be reassessing every five minutes until ALS arrives. Your ALS backup has arrived. Okay, so we have a 20 something year old female patient here who is um, complaining of a possible asthma attack, having some trouble breathing. She had wheezing bilaterally in the lower quadrants. Um, her blood pressure was 138 over 72, uh, her respiratory rate was 28, her uh, pulse rate was 110, her skin was pale, warm and dry, and she's allergic to penicillin. Um, and at this time I've administered 4 liters of oxygen per minute via nasal cannula, as well as assisted with her um, albuterol inhaler. Is there anything else you'd like to do at this time? Uh, no.